All right, we'll try this one last time. If we have the arc cosine, ladies and gentlemen, and we're given the inverse cosine, which is the exact same thing, Miranda. So what we need to do is I know that 1 half is going to be on our unit circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our unit circle to help me find my inverse cosine or the angle of my point. So first thing, I need to determine where is cosine equal to 1 half, right? Well, there's two points that I know of. <coughs> the first point I know of, which is what we call pi over 3. Right? At pi over 3, we have a positive 1 half and a positive radical 3 over 2. Okay? Then, the only other time you can say over here, I actually have a negative 1 half radical 3 over 2. So this point is not going to count, right? So we're not going to worry about this point. Oh, question. Yes? Why was the 1 half negative up there but not when it changes? The 1 half is negative. No, no. On the, at the top. Up here? Yeah. This just means inverse cosine. That negative no, 1 just means inverse. Oh, this is supposed to be negative. Thank you. I just didn't write that in. Oh, actually, we are trying to find the negative yeah. cosine, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. That actually helps. So, therefore, if we notice that this is 1 half, um, and this is square root of 3 over 2, then this one is going to be negative 1 half radical 3 over 2, right? Now, there's two other times when cosine is 1 half or negative 1 half. We have this point down here and this point down here. However, we, I know that I'm not going to use those points because I remember the range, right, or my restrictions on the inverse cosine is between 0 and pi. So that my point, my angle has to be between 0 and pi. So therefore, I don't even need to worry about those angles below. So by looking up here now, I notice that I need to find the inverse cosine of negative 1 half, right? So I need to find what is the angle pretty much for that point. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is pi thirds, right? But this one is um, positive, so we can just erase that. So if this is pi thirds, the next um, point over is going to be adding another one third, which is going to be 2 pi over 3. So all you guys got to do when you find your inverse cosine is first determine kind of your point on your unit circle that's either going to be positive you know, or negative 1 half or whatever your point is. Then determine your restrictions. Remember sine and cosine and tangent have different restrictions. And then just find the angle that matches the restriction and the point. Make sense? Questions? Yes? I'll show you an example of that in just a second. 